One of the questions I always get from authors I work with is, what sort of things do I need to pay for when I'm self-publishing and what sort of things should I um, learn to do myself, figure out how to do myself because they aren't as important. And one thing that comes up is formatting. And I want you to know right now, formatting matters to your readers. So in my most recent book that I published, The Promise Plan, I had a formatter all lined up and everything. And then her mother fell sick and then even passed away about the same time that I was going to send the manuscript to her and that she, we had contracted that we would, she would do the formatting for me. And she's done the formatting for all my books. She's awesome. Does a great job. So she couldn't. So I was like, uh, okay. Printing is so, printed books especially need special handling on formatting. And, but formatting, formatters can charge upwards of $150. Um, and if you're on a budget, that that's a sizable chunk of change for something that ideally you could do yourself or maybe realistically, maybe not realistically. Anyway, you could do it yourself. It is not a must do, okay? So here's the poor man's keys to four tips to get you to have a formatted book um, yourself. So if you're publishing on Amazon and KDP, that platform, Amazon's platform, KDP, they have templates for every print size of book they use. Figure out what your size, what size you're gonna do, um, and use the template that they give and just write in that template, okay? Yes, you can copy and paste into it, but it's gonna mess things up if you do, and then you're gonna have to go back in and change things. How do I know? <laughs> Cause I did it, okay? So, but I have it on good authority from an author friend of mine who has always done it this way, that it, if you just write within the template itself, you don't have to worry about those things. Second thing, can, they have a free program. Amazon has a free program called Kindle Create. And I know if you're like me, you're like, okay, well that's to create the ebook format. Well, but you can also use it for your print format, okay? And so that's where you're gonna use special effects where you can change what the chap chapter headings look like, you know, so how some of them have uh, special um, fonts with them or special little graphics where you can add um, spacers for between scenes. So for the special effects, use Kindle Create and you can just upload a Word document to that. Yes, that is what the KDP templates will be. So yes, you can just upload that to that and then tweak it out and then you have to export it and you export it in two different fashions. So export for EPUB and export for print, for PDF to print, okay? So you can do that, that will really help, okay? Now, if you think you're ready to upload, stop, all right? There's another free application called Calibre, spelled C-A-L-I-B-R-E, and it is free and you can download it. Now there's a reader and then there's a um, formatter or, so it's EPUB, um, oh gosh, and there I go. But you can actually uh, change EPUB files and then save a new file using Calibre. And there is, there's two different ones if I'm correct. So make sure that you get the one that you can make changes. So what you do is you upload the file, your EPUB file for your um, book that you wanna publish and you go through it. Now it will check and say, oh, here's some errors automatically that then you can address and change those. It's fairly straightforward. Sometimes you do have to work in the code, but they will show you how to do that. So it's it's pretty user-friendly for people who not aren't really high tech or who get frustrated with tech. 
So, but don't, don't upload your um, EPUB before you check it on this because you can fix all the little small things that might be wrong with it so that you have a good book because getting the EPUB downloaded, back downloaded from Amazon can be a pain sometimes. They send a different file, a WMB file or something, or I don't know what the file is, but then it doesn't look like it's an EPUB. It's not called an EPUB. And so it's kind of confusing to try and find it and, and, and use it. Can do it. Still might want to modify it using your Calibre, okay? So your print PDF that you have created from the Word template or from Kindle Create, okay? You can, they have an online previewer at Amazon and that's fine, you can look at it. They will give you ideas, they will show you what they found that's wrong with it. But don't go by that, don't just look at it and go, oh, okay, everything's fine, no. Order a proof of your paperback and then comb through it with special care. Now I'm gonna tell you, yes, you need to go through every page. Yes, you need to pretty much even read it as if it is your galley proof that you got from your publisher that's looking for the final typos and format issues and whatever. And the reason I am saying this is because I did not do that with my last book. I did not do that and I should have because my formatting, I did not have my formatter, remember, but I was rushed and I had a, I had a release date and I wanted to get some print copies before, um, before release so I could send them out to people on release day and all these things. So I didn't comb through it as closely as I do normally. And the first 15 copies that I ordered had stuff missed, text missing from a chapter and, re and another section of text repeated. Don't even ask me how that happened um, in the process because no one should have been deleting anything or changing anything like that, but it had that and some other things too. So there was 15 books that just went in the garbage so this, the next copy after I, and I did go through that and try to change things. The next set, which are the ones that I still have right here on, because I ordered, I think 10 more, um, have five other errors in them. Okay. There's five typographical errors that need to be fixed. They have been fixed. Okay. But I could have found those too, if I would have combed through that proof paperback completely. So do do that, okay? Write in the KDP template, use Kindle Create, it's free. Use Calibre to check to make sure that all your formatting and your files look good before you upload them. And then with your print book, get a proof copy and go through every single page to figure out what needs to be fixed that you then upload before you put the book live. So those are my tips. If you are someone else who says, hey, I know some other great shortcuts for formatting that work perfectly and will help you have um, a stellar professional looking product, I wanna hear about them, please, I wanna hear about them. So drop those into the comments here. And if you've used any of the things that I've talked about, mentioned, and you found some hangups, please tell us about that too, because I'm here to learn from you. Just like I am always saying, we are working in a industry where there are not really any masters at all. So drop your comments, tell us how you can format if you don't wanna pay a professional.